During our weekly series, Vietnam Reflections, we have honored Vietnam veterans and some family members. Tonight, the story of Ronald R. Martin through the eyes of his sister and his biggest supporter. Ronald Robert Martin. Ronald R. Martin was the first person from Erie County killed in Vietnam. His sister Sandy will never forget the date, November 17, 1965. He was wonderful. I adored him. Um, he was my big brother. Trying to deal with the death of a brother took Sandy down a very dark path for many years. I did not cope well. I don't, I am a recovering alcoholic with 18 years sobriety, so I did not cope well. Now, she has the memories. The memories of her brother enjoying classic cars, good music, and moving his feet to the beat. Um, I taught him how to dance, and I can remember it was my prom night, and uh, he came to the prom in his uniform, and we were dancing together, and all of a sudden I was on the floor, and I was looking up at him, and we'd missed the part of the dance, and it was so embarrassing. I said, oh, now what are you going to do, bucko? <laughs> Time has not healed the emotional wounds. He was an E6 sergeant, so he went with his men when he went to Vietnam. He had a platoon. And they were all ambushed, which was just a crying shame. His heroism, he believed in it tremendously. He believed in what he did, and he was proud to be there. I remember I went home to my parents. I think the thing that probably was the most upsetting was my dad saying, Martins, don't cry. Don't cry. You're not allowed to cry, Martins, don't cry. Martin's cry. A lot. Ronald graduated from Academy High School, and his post-military goal, Eva, was to eventually own his own restaurant. Sandy told me he just loved to cook. Wow. So powerful. Yeah, she uh, kept it in a lot, a lot of years. 57 years of heartache. Mm -hmm. So she tries to carry it.